on Sniper Ridge. There we go. Nice. Uh, looks like Stats actually, overall this season he's 9-3, and three, which is quite good, but against Terran he's 2-2, two and two, so only 50%. Looks like Terran is, or PVT is not uh, his strongest matchup. Although I guess he could have just played really good Terrans, so I'm not really sure. <coughs> and uh, Turn, the last game I can remember of his on this map uh, was a TBT against, I think, Bogus actually, where he just like made nine factories and mass units and it was awesome. Was that, wait, was that the game against Bogus? Or was that a different, no, that, I might be getting confused with a different game. Oh man, my memory is so terrible, I'm sorry. This is why I need, I need like, knowledgeable people in my chat, like Kiet or uh, Kanage, Kanage. Damn it, that name, I still don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> anyway. What, what was that game? What was the 9-fact game? Oh, I'm gonna get this. Oh, now this is annoying me. It was a TVT against Bogus? Okay. Alright. Whew. Thank God. Anyway. We are getting started. Can turn. The awesome turn. Uh, close out the set. For Khan, or is Stats gonna force a game five? Are we gonna see like another random game five? Who was it last time? I oh, know, last time we didn't go to game five. No, last time we did go to game five. Yes. Last time we went to Reality vs. Mind. Reality is already played. And we still have like Shine and Ruru. Who does, who does KT have? Hoja? Would they send Hoja to ZBZ? Eh, not sure about that. They, they might send Mind anyway. Mind's TVZ could be okay. We could see like Mind versus Roro or something in the last game. That might be good actually. That could be good. Yeah. Also they have. Oh yeah, we still have Jangbi. I forgot Jangbi. <laughs> Whatever, man. I don't care about Jangbi. I, we need more Roro. Roro is the man. <clears throat> oh, well, oh yeah, if they send Jangmi though. Oh. Wow. Things are not looking up for KT. <laughs> I can't believe I, I forgot Jangmi. Uh, hey, at least, at least I suggested, you know, decent players like Roro. At least I wasn't like, hmm, maybe we should send Grape. See? I, I could have pulled a January there, but I didn't. I didn't. Ha. So anyway, looks like uh, Pro Brew is going out after Gateway. And uh, this is going to go into the correct direction, so that's going to be nice. Turn doing nothing out of the ordinary there. That girl looks quite nervous. She must be a, a KT fan or something. She's like really nervous. Maybe, maybe she came here on a date with a guy and he just like... He went out to, to go to the bathroom and never came back, and she's like afraid that he uh, he ditched her or something. <laughs> Although, wait, actually no, that would make sense, because then he'd miss the game too. So that would be bad. Okay. Yeah, I guess that, that, that strategy doesn't quite work out. Ah! That was a good idea. Yay for face hiding. Look at that! Look at that! That that guy in the the military uniform. He like he started to hide his face, and he's like, "Oh wait, maybe I shouldn't." Like, eh, eh. he's looking all shyly off to the side. Anyway, ooh, man or pylon? Oh man, that is actually brutal. Getting uh, the one SCV, but then also like, look at look at all those SCVs like. Uh, glitching around to the back. Well, not really glitching. They just uh, they're trying to access those minerals. Oh, that's actually really nice for uh, for stats. I'm a little bit surprised. Turn let that go down. Uh, looks like it was cancelled though. He's not gonna let that finish. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, and he's and turn has actually scouted cross map as you can see from the mini map, uh, which I find a little bit surprising. Like given that scout timing from stats, 
I would not have assumed he was crossbound. Because if you think about it, right, Stats did a gateway scout. So if he would if he had been cross map, it would have had to have been a pylon scout, which is quite unusual. Especially on a four player map. Like if it's a two player map, uh, that's actually reasonable because usually that does mean you're just going for the gas deal. But to to do a pylon scout on a four player map is kind of icky, in my opinion. So I, I don't really see a good reason for him to have gone cross map. But anyway, it looks like he's gonna get a command center now, getting a bunker up as well. And uh, has gone for the Vulture first, uh, which is usually what that bunker indicates. Anyway, uh, there's something going down at the top right. Is that like an SCV? Yeah, it looks like the SCV actually went bottom right and then top right, so the Vulture now is finally going to find Stats' base. He's going to see a one gate expand. Uh, might actually be able to sneak into the main here, that would be quite nice for him. Uh, oh! Oh, there's actually a pro block, and I was like, why is that Vulture doing a doing a bow roll there? And wow, nice little block there by Stats. Uh, I, did he did he see the Vulture coming or something? I'm a little bit surprised that he had that probe on the ramp. That was either amazing anticipation, or no, it wasn't luck. That that had he had to have guessed that. And, oh, the six minute manner pylon. Oh my goodness, what a baller, Stats. Stats is being a baller, aka Protoss. Protoss, guys, it's pretty good. And ooh, it looks like uh, the SCV building command center actually had to got, get pulled off to, to repair this bunker. Uh, he should be okay now, but he had to pull four SCVs off mining and it delayed the command center. So Stats is definitely, you know, in a good position here, uh, doing a lot of annoying harassment. Actually, he let that second pylon finish. I'm curious as to why he would cancel the first matter pylon and let the second one finish. Obviously, the second one would go down a lot faster. Maybe he just, like, forgot or something or didn't get it in time. I don't know. Anyway, I mean, the thing is, even if Stats isn't ahead, like, mineral for mineral, even though I think he is, uh, just a little bit, um, like, the psychological factor... What the check? Two barracks going down! Oh my god, Turn! Turn just went from being, like, one of my favorite players to, to still being one of my favorite players. Oh, that didn't quite work. Uh, <laughs> wow, Turn! Turn is just trying to one-up Stats here. Stats, look at Stats thinks he's so cute with all his mana pylons and like his little, little goon shenanigans. Yeah, yeah, Turn knows what's up. See, man, uh, I love. See, this is why I love calm players. You see, cause, cause like, like that's what happened last week. Stork was like, oh, Flash, you wanna be, you wanna be fancy with your, with your tank drops and your marine on the cliff drops. I was gonna make a scout. Yeah, that's what's up. Uh, so, already people are making reference to Deep Six. This is in fact not a Deep Six. Uh, and for those of you who don't know what a Deep Six is, let me first explain that. A Deep Six is uh, uh, basically an all-in mid-game attack from a Terran in TVP where you uh, go two factories and six barracks after a fast expand, and you just do a huge Medic Marine plus Siege Tank push. And you just try and kill the Protoss. That's a Deep Six, because it's six barracks, it makes sense. These variations of that build, where you go more... <laughs> Look at Stats, he's like, wait, what? <laughs> okay, these variations of that build are not technically Deep Six. In the same way that Bisu build is a, actually a very specific build and not just a generic Forge Fast Expand, which is what a lot of people use it as nowadays. Uh, but I mean, the principle is the same, you know? Make a bunch of Medic Marine and a few Siege Tanks to support and go and kill him. And the reason this kind of attack is more or less all in is that Medic Marine in the late game against a Protoss are extremely weak due to uh, both Reavers and High Templars with Storms. Both of those are extremely effective against Medic Marine. It's virtually impossible to micro well against those. Um, so you really want to end it in the mid game before the Protoss gets his tech up. And I mean, Stats is doing the completely appropriate response here, going for the Reavers. Of course, you can't just go straight for High Templar, there's no way that'll be in time. And, uh, well, I mean, Turn is going to try to push in here. Stats engaging in a nice location there, uh, taking advantage of that high ground. Uh, but it looks like he's getting pushed back here to his natural. He needs to buy enough time for the Reaver to get out, and he's going to have to have some good Reaver micro in order to hold this off. Uh, Turn doing a lot of damage as these Dragoons retreat. He's got to keep up the rally, though. It's pretty hard to execute this. 
to have the Marines and, and Medics constantly going, you know, to be constantly uh, 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 macroing off those barracks, but uh, Turner doing a good job here. Stats actually lose, has lost a lot of his gateway units, and actually his own wall working against him, co costing him an extra Dragoon here, and he's actually going to lose all those buildings on the wall. The gateway and the two pylons, of course, were made to uh, to prevent Volta harass, but now it's actually working against him. He's going to lose those buildings for free. That might actually supply block him, I'm not sure. No, maybe not. But, uh... The Marines are moving in here, and where did the Reaver go? Okay, the Reaver's there. He's got to be so careful, though, because that shuttle can go down quite easily to the Marines. Oh, nice scarab shot on the Marines, though, but so many siege tanks are remaining. A couple of Marines remaining as well. That Reaver's got to do insane amounts of damage. Is this going to be a Stork Reaver, or is it going to be a Backho Reaver? Oh, it's going to be a Ho Reaver, and Stats is in so much trouble right now. He actually went for Archives as well. I don't really know what he was going for that. Is he going for DTs? Because since the Academy's down, obviously the Terran is going to have Scan. And it looks like the Pylon's being focused down. There is a second Pylon powering those three gateways. But Stats is so dead here. Turn is taking out Stats. Look, January can't even believe it. She's like kind of smirking like, lol. Stats died to Medic Marine. And oh, the Marines are going after the shuttle. The shuttle is so close to red health. Medic Marine have so such high DPS when they're stimmed. And that shuttle is in such red health. That Reaver cannot go back in there. But it looks like the Marines are going to get taken down. The probe's coming out to help. And the DT are out. Where's the scan? We need the scan. There's the compsat, but most of the Marines are uh, down, and the DT's just doing so much damage. More Marines being rallied in here, though. Wow, taking down so many siege tanks. If the scan were out, a second scan going down. The natural nexus is down. Stats with his red health reaver shuttle. Uh, and looks like the reaver. No, the shuttle goes down. The DT's go down. And Stats is completely dead here. Turn has lost almost all his units. The Nexus is barely alive, but that's not going to last long. Probe's coming off to help out. This is two medics in the main. <laughs> two medics and a siege tank. Oh, man. That's a party. That tank's having a party. <clears throat> See, that, that tank was not was not lonely on Valentine's Day. He had two medics attending to him. Although, I guess he died in the end. So, I mean, that's like a sad ending. That's like the romance movie with the sad ending. And it looks like uh, while all this was happening, Stats actually got a hidden expansion up in the bottom right, but it's just not mining. It's got two idle probes there. Uh, I don't think that's going to come into play. Stats is down to 27 supply against 54. Um, he's going in here. He's going to try and snipe a siege tank, but look at the, the DPS of Medic Marine are ridiculously good. Actually, see, believe it or not, uh, Medic Marine are actually extremely effective against pure Zealot Dragoon. Um, because the DPS of like the Dragoons is not that high, and the damage types, like Dragoons do explosive damage, so they only do half damage against Marines. Uh, it's really just the Reavers and like high-level Reaver Micro that make this strategy very risky. And, oh, doing a nice probe drill there, a couple of Zelts coming out. Uh, Stats just trying to hold on here, of course, this is a must-win situation for him, with KT being down 1-2, but he is basically dead in the water. He is down to 16 supply here, turned constantly rallying in units. Stats is not happy. He's down to 10 supply. He doesn't want to leave the game. Stats, you're dead. GG! Turn like a boss. Oh, man, he is not going to be lonely tonight. Those fangirls are going to be treating him very nicely. And Khan takes it down 3-1. to one. Samsung Khan is now in the number one spot on the ranking board, the scoreboard, whatever it is. Khan is now 10 and 5. KT, I believe, are now 9 and 6. And this is an excellent, excellent start to round 3 for Samsung Khan. Uh, basically, I mean, it'll be very unlikely for them to not make the playoffs now. Um, although in the format, in the in the playoff format, it's still like it still matters whether you're first or second or third or something. So they'll still have to work hard. We've got to keep that top spot, but very very nice start for them. And uh, yeah, awesome last game. Turn, you're a baller. So yes, uh, tune in tomorrow for I think. Is it? I don't know. Let me just have a look here. It is SDX versus Teammate, uh, which actually...